Well, you will not believe what is going down with Robert Kennedy Jr. We have some big updates with Trump as well as Joe Biden. Things are heating up. You don't want to miss this. Please thumbs up the video. And before we jump in, we're going to pray and read from the Bible because we all know that God comes first. But sometimes we just need to say it. God comes first. Comment that below if you believe that or comment amen. All right, here we go. This comes from the book of Psalms 37. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Now, quick announcement. My Christian clothing store is officially live. It's October 1st. The store is live if you want to go check out the designs. I've been working really hard on this for a long time. So this is one of them. God is good all the time. <laughs> you can go check it out for a special discount. You can get 10% off when you use code Dylan. And uh, yeah, help support the show if you'd like. It's one of the best ways to do so because YouTube demonetization and all that. So um, yeah, thanks for celebrating with me. And everything is made in USA. All right. Robert Kennedy Jr. is going to run most likely as an independent and could complicate Trump and Biden in 2024 contest. So I was originally wrong on this. I didn't know you could run as an independent. I thought you had to go Republican or Democrat or like third party, like the Green Tea Party. I don't even know. I haven't been around for politics that long, but this is news to me that U.S. presidential hopeful Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will announce he is running as an independent instead of pursuing his long shot bid to oust Joe Biden as the Democratic Party nominee, a shift that could totally complicate the 2024 election because as we've seen in the past, he was going to potentially run as a Democrat and we all know that Joe Biden ain't looking too good in the polls. So I was thinking maybe it could be a Trump versus Kennedy matchup, but now he's gonna most likely run as an independent. I don't know if you've seen the videos, but bro can do some push-ups. Robert Kennedy, 60, what, seven, 69 years old, however old this man is, he can do some push-ups, if I've ever seen so myself. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy, Posted a video on YouTube on Friday asking Americans to join him for a major announcement on October 9th. I'll be speaking about a sea change in American politics, decrying corruption in both parties. How are we going to win against the established Washington interests? It's not through playing the game by the current rules, he said. Kennedy is nephew of former President John F. Kennedy, who was assassinated in 1963, and the son of former U.S. Senator Robert F. Kennedy who was assassinated in 1968 during his own presidential bid. Whoa, both Kennedys were assassinated. I'm sorry, I'm not too familiar with all this pol political stuff, but let's just say, ho hopefully in this case, the third isn't the charm. I hope he doesn't get assassinated like I hope nobody would, but yeah, very, very sad. Kennedy said in April he would challenge Biden for the Democratic nomination to run against the Republican nominee, expecting to be Donald John Trump. Now. So what does that mean going into 2024? Well, it's really going to shake up a lot because if we look at the recent polls, this is a poll that was just came out. Uh, Fox News just posted this. Trump got a double digit lead over Biden in a new general election poll. Biden is unpopular in his age, border security and the economy. Most people could agree that, yeah, Biden's getting old. He's not super smart, so he's not super quick-witted. He's probably one of the worst speakers we've seen, uh, at least in my lifetime, probably in your lifetime too, probably the worst speaker, or the worst, um, yeah, worst president, or, or like worst person, I guess, as president who, he's the worst speaker, anyways. In terms of leading and motivating and normal things that you would expect in a president, in my opinion, Joe Biden is quite the worst because he gets up there and nobody, nobody can, nobody's like listening. Nobody's hearing, hearing what's coming out of his mouth. When, ah, mm, ah. I mean, just look, just, I know you guys don't like listening to Joe, but I have to show you this one video because it's just absolutely hilarious. And, um, you know, I'm not, 
I'm not lying when I show you this video of Joe Biden. I mean, he, this is literally how he talks and it's kind of scary to me. What? And he's like, he, <laughs> this is him. You're gonna pay somewhere between 20 and 40% less than those other countries. Same exact drug. <laughs> the same exact company. This is scary, okay? This is, this is embarrassing and scary. He's literally talking and he just starts yelling randomly, like with no speaker, like it just makes no sense. You're gonna pay somewhere between 20 and 40% less than those other countries. Same exact drug. <laughs> by the same exact company. <laughs> He's like, what am I saying again? It, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's literally absurdity. And then this is Joe Biden uh, in 2008 and he's speaking just fine. You support gay what marriage? happened to him? No, Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a, from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support He's it. saying how he's against gay marriage. That is a decision to be able to be left to the face and people to practice their face determination. And of course, want. whatever becomes popular Democrats, Joe Biden's going to change his mind. He looks very different there, too. He speaks very, very differently. And, I mean, listen, listen, to, listen to Sleepy Joe talk now. I mean, it's, it's crazy. He doesn't even... It, it's so difficult to listen to him. And then, you listen to somebody like Donald John Trump talk... And it's it's outstanding. It's absolutely you outstanding. Watch any highlights from the debate tonight? I probably will, but it's uh, you know it's a job application basically. You know that. Yeah. And uh, anybody stand out to you as a potential job applicant well, right you now? You know we're leading by fifty-seven points. A poll came out. Look today. how like demonious. He's falling fast. He he speaks so clearly, so motivating. People love him. By the way, Donald J. Trump just went to California, and I wanted to share this with you guys because. It was awesome to see all his supporters there. The former president just getting here within the last few minutes, just leaving here. Um, several questions. Makes a visit to Carvel Ice. Look at him. We're the only People local love him. To ride in the motorcade I don't know if I can really play the audio here because copyright, but the, this is Fox. They're going down to California to, to follow Trump. They're in the motorcade there. That's the reporter. But look at that. Let's see. You say, you say. I mean, people are riled up. People are happy to see him. People are at, look as for autographs. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's awesome. People love. If you've never been to a Donald John Trump rally, I definitely recommend checking one out one day because it's uh, it's a great sight to see. You you just see people cheering, hooting and hollering, and there's uh, some videos of him actually getting a like a standing ovation and you can see even the police force they all love him and joe biden has the audacity to say oh republicans are being led by mag extremists and they're destroying the democracy and it's like dude the people who are enforcing democracy the the police love him so it's like and this is police, I don't even know if this is firefighters, police, military, whatever. I mean, people have so much respect for Trump. You see when Trump does go down to the military when he does visit them, they're giving him a standing ovation. I mean, it's beautiful. This is another one with Donald J. Trump. People are, you know, he's signing autographs. It's like, you cannot make this up. You really can't. And Joe Biden, I mean, gosh, he just really annoys me he really really does so anyways as long as donald j trump is eligible there is a potential supreme court case that might determine trump's 2024 eligibility very very soon but from what i've heard it's kind of a long shot and it's probably not going to go through so robert kennedy jr announcing that he's going in as an independent this is very very important and something we all need to keep an eye on I mean, he said on October 9th he will make the announcement, but it sounds like it could. I don't really know how it's going to go down, but it seems like it's going to be Trump for Republicans, Robert Kennedy for independents, and then Biden, or like Sarah Palin said and Ted Cruz said, 
potentially somebody like Michelle Obama or even Hillary Clinton says she's ready to do the job too, which God help us if that happens. So it actually is looking pretty good going into 2024 if it is Biden um, and Trump because all the latest polls, we see that Biden is trailing big, bigly to um, Republicans, not even Trump, but also Tim Scott. In a Tim Scott versus Biden head-to-head -head matchup, Biden was behind. That's not saying, that's, I mean, yeah, that's pretty, that looks really bad for Biden. And then Biden versus Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley got more too in that poll. And Vivek Ramaswamy almost got as much as Biden. And even Mike Pence, this, I'm talking about a Vivek versus Biden head-to-head -head hypothetical matchup poll. And then a Mike Pence versus Biden head-to-head hypothetical matchup poll. People were like, yeah, we'd honestly probably want Mike Pence more than Biden. So it's just looking really bad for Biden right now. So we will see what happens, but Robert Kennedy Jr. gonna keep an eye on him. I like the guy. I like what he has to say. He's shaking things up. And I think that's important right now here in America that we have more people who aren't afraid to speak their mind and say what they think because that's what it's all about. Whether you agree with them or not, let's get together and let's try to help America. And I can tell, I can actually tell that, that Robert Kennedy Jr. cares, uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. So I can tell he cares. He seems like a good guy. I watched him on the Joe Rogan podcast. So anyways, going to end the video there. Go check out my store if you'd like, godcomesfirst.com. It's a Christian clothing store. All the designs are inspired well, most of them are inspired by the Bible. They, some of them have Bible verses on them. They're all original designs. And there's hoodies, hats, t-shirts, um, uh, what else? Long sleeve shirts, women's fitted shirts, and um, even a few coffee mugs. <laughs> so if you'd like to support the show, you can go check that out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.